we need some good news. Amen. We need some good news. It is sometimes heartbreaking and sad to turn on a television set to CNN, WALB, TBS, and Eastman. And as we turn on these channels, whether it's early in the morning, in the midday, or late at night, that they have something that will literally pick you up in your spirit. For if they're not talking about ISIS in Iraq, they're talking about police officers killing black citizens. They're talking about who got robbed, different places with bomb threats. They're talking about the spread of Ebola. And in the midst of all of that, I, I just wish that they would just take a station identification and just say something good where you're dealing with Congress and the House of Representatives that has an issue with the president because he's the wrong color skin. That every time he tries to take one step, they fight him and push against him and push him back four steps further back. I just wish I could get some good news. That we can go to doctor and get bad diagnosis and prognosis. I just wish one time that we could go to the doctor's office and no matter what kind of medicine I'm taking that he can give me some good news and say that everything is stabilized now, that you don't need lisinopril, you don't need Azar, that your blood pressure and your cholesterol level has come back to normal. You don't have to deal with insulin for now your sugar has leveled off and normal. I just wish we could get some, some good news. And even when we conversate one with another, sometimes we are guilty of always talking about bad stuff, but never having any good news to bring somebody. Well, when we embark upon the type of season and the time of year that it is, it is about the earth when there was a span of 450 years where God neither used prophets and heaven literally shed his mouth pertaining to the earth. Between the books of Malachi and Matthew, God now has another plan. And his plan was to bring an end to all the bad news. I'm encouraged because in spite of everything I hear that's going on in the world, that because Christ lived, that there's still hope. And we can go tell a dying world that he lives. I think that's good news. I think that it's good news that no matter how far I was from him, I can say that he was there all the time. And through my ups and through my downs, he was right there. I've had some car accidents that I shouldn't have walked away from. He was right there. I've been through some medical issues and problems and dilemmas that most folk died from, but the fact that I'm still here is an indication that he was there. Uh, I've, I've been hungry, but it appears that I haven't missed a meal in a while. It, it is it's an indication that he fed me. And I, I just think that because Christ lived, that's good news. Yeah. That no matter how disturbed things may be, how disturbing things may be, how folk act, how folk treat us, that because Christ was, is born, that that's good news. That, that, that I, don't, I wasn't there when he was born in the stable, but can I tell you one Thursday night, that something happened on the inside of me to, to let me know that, that there is some good news in spite of being in a hopeless situation. 
some of the things that were going on back in those days before Christ was born is going on right now. And I just wish we had a microphone all over the world just to tell them that there is some good news.